Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. It's a chilly Tuesday morning. Like, what a big difference compared to yesterday, huh? <clears throat> it's Tuesday, y'all. Uh, May 14th. It's 6.42 a.m. And I just had another day. Hold on. I got one right here, see that? Keep some right here, just in case. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Coming to y'all a little bit later today. I'm gonna lie it off that. Well, I got up at 5, thanks to Top Old Court, as always. Lay back down until 6. And then when my alarm went off at 6. I laid back down for about 6 <laughs> Said my prayers and everything, you guys. I hope you did the same. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. Happy Tuesday. It's a terrific testimony Tuesday. Okay. That's why I'm going to start trying to call my Tuesdays. Testimony Tuesday. Do y'all have a testimony? I have a testimony. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. Y'all, I made my coffee. was ready to go in there and sit down. But I was like, let me just put some uh, uh, tablespoon of instant in my coffee to give it that extra boost. And I grabbed the wrong jar, and it wasn't instant. <laughs> it was a bunch of coffee grinds in my coffee. So I had to pour it out and start over. It's fine. It happens, you know. It happens. It's all right. This cup is a lot smaller than the other cups for sure. The ones that's made like this. I got some that are much, much bigger, but that's fine. I don't need it to be much bigger, to be honest. Because I don't even always drink all the coffee. You know? But I'm going to drink it today. I already put the creamer in there. I'm sure I'm going to have to pop it in the microwave still because that creamer cools it down a lot. Oh, that's actually perfect. Wow. They got to do nothing. Don't have to do anything with that cup of coffee except put the cream, whipped cream on it. Put the cream on it. Put the cream on it. Go ahead and put the cream on it. So I got my vanilla in there. You can It's hard to go wrong with vanilla. I'm sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and put my whipped cream. I'm not going to put a whole lot. I would stop putting a whole lot. It's not necessary. And it's a waste. See that? That's not healthy. Does that look good? Yeah. Hmm. Have a cup of coffee on me, y'all. Have a cup of coffee on me. Tuesday. For some of you all, for me, it's Testimony Tuesday. <clears throat> I smell garbage. I gotta get the garbage out. See the little from outside. Okay. Phone should almost be finished charging so that I can log in with no problem. 
Oops, sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to bust the head. And it's coming off short. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. Just realized I didn't have my earrings in either. Okay. <sighs> so y'all know normally I go and donate on Tuesdays, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. For one, it's a lot chillier, and I don't just don't feel like it. I can't do the heat like I used to, but I don't like the cold, cold either. <laughs> and it's a it's a bit nippy for me right now. One second, you guys. All right. <clears throat> now that's done. Yeah. So um, I just don't feel like going, you know. Um, so I'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow, Friday. I know I should go today and just go ahead and get it out the way Tuesday and and, and Thursday, but I do feel like I need to drink a bit more water. I really been a little bit off you know my plan here lately shut that a little bit <sighs> now see if I didn't have this space heater down here and this box down here and maybe if I come in a little bit closer I can get to the point where I can actually shut this door right and it kind of helps keep out a lot of the sound and stuff and that's why when it was just Lavelle like I would let him like I told him you can have the room uh, it's just that in the morning I have to come in here and work you know um, so you would just have to kind of keep it down like when you decide to go and watch TV or something like that um, go in the living room right and so I can still maybe do that with them but it, you know it's not him and just him anymore so that means me trying to work with all of them getting up that would be kind of I don't know difficult it would be a bit difficult and for me I just use the heater not so much for up here but for my feet for some reason I feel like if your feet are warm you're warm right and so and that's that's how it is for me anyway I don't know about anybody else but that's how it works for me <coughs> my feet are warm I'm pretty much warm 
you know, sometimes the upper part get a little bit chilly, you know, and if I shut this door, it's gonna, you know, keep the heat in, in this little space, but I like this little space, you know, it's not as big as, by no means as the closet and desk planes. the closet and desk planes, I can lay a pallet down on the floor and make a room out of it, you know, that's what I miss, um, but yeah, God is good, you guys. Testimony Tuesday. Hmm. What do I, what can I testify about? Oh, God is good. Simply that right now. God is good. When I look back at everything that I have gone through and been through, and trust me, I've gone through nothing compared to what so many people have or are going through in life, by no means. But the challenges that I have faced within my lifetime, when I look back, I realized how good God is because he brought me through. <laughs> I realized he was always there with me. Never left me, nor did he forsake me. Yes, sometimes he said, you know what? I'm going to let you waddle in your mess just a little bit longer because you didn't have to be there. If you had just did what I told you to do. Right? Sometimes he tell me that. And I get it. And he's right. But then he always comes through. And he'll do the same thing for you. Yes, you will. <sighs> what kind of day am I going to have today, y'all? A blessed day. Because today is a day that the Lord has made. And I should do nothing but rejoice and be glad in it. What, we, what did we read about yesterday? Praising God. Rejoice. Sing out songs. <laughs> You know, and that's all we have to remember, and that's all we have to do. Uh, so, guys, I do need to. I already know. I already already mentioned it. I do need to hit that dollar store because I need a cord, extension cord, um, an aux cord. I may not need the headphones. Um. I found some old ones, but I do need an extension cord. I do need an aux cord. I do need to get some face towels. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and when I when I get the extra money and order some more towels, um, the same towels that I ordered when I first moved in. Y'all, when I first moved in, it was so beautiful, so peaceful, so quiet. I had beautiful, plush, black towels, gray towels, white towels to go with the design of my bathroom. There's not one towel. <laughs> I had the big, big body bath towels. I had the medium size. I had the um, um, next to the medium size and then the small face towels. Ain't not one gray, black, or white in there. And everything set up so beautifully. Two big queen size blow up beds in both rooms set up nice and neat. Beautiful color blankets on them and <laughs> Ooh, I tell you. And it's so funny how it's not funny. It's it's crazy 
how you can teach people and tell people what and how to do myself included but we tend to do the opposite we tend to just want to do whatever we want to do and how we want to do it that's so weird to me you know <laughs> I bet God was sitting up saying the same thing I didn't told them what to do I didn't gave them the Ten Commandments I didn't burn the bush <laughs> You know, I didn't part at the Red Sea. You know, I I've turned the the, the water blood red. I've done this and I've done, I've turned water into wine. I've done everything and told and told them what to do and what not to do, and still they do the opposite. I bet God up there is like. If he was, if he was to cuss, man, I feel like I would hit thunder all the time. Boom, 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 boom. boom. They be like, when you hear that thunder, and that, that's that's God mad. I'm definitely sure that's not the case at all. I'm definitely sure that that's not the case. Um, it has nothing to do with God being mad or speaking, even though. Um, there was a part in the Bible where um, God, I think it was God telling Moses to come up on the mountain. And the people were around, but they could not come any further. Um, because God came down and he he was on earth. It was like fire, you know, and it, you would hear as he spoke to Moses, they were hearing thunder. You know, so maybe, I don't know. They were hearing thunder, lightning, you know, and they were afraid. You never know. But he wasn't angry then. He was not angry. He was speaking to Moses, I believe, and he was not angry. So, I can't associate thunder being God angry I could I would be able to better understand it if you said he was just speaking you know I, I would better understand that I would be able to accept that I really would but to say that he's angry no no I don't think he is he may not be happy with how we are living and the choices that we are making but he loves us. He loves us so much. And I'm so thankful for that love. That means it is now 7 a.m. Hmm. Time flies, don't it? Oh, that's another reason why I wanted to. Okay. I got 28%. This one won't stay charged at all. I have to get a cord. That's that's what it was. Um, a cord for this one too. Because this is what I use to log in with. This is my 2241. It's off because I forgot to pay the bill. And um, I was using my daughter's phone at the time. So I didn't really need to. Um, not knowing that Lavelle was going to break up lose, crack, all of his. <sighs> I'm trying to help, trying to help without hurting myself or anyone else. And sometimes we're going to hurt ourselves or others trying to help other people, you know, but God is good and I know he's in it. I know I'm doing the right things. I know that 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 I know oh oh I'm doing right things Okay 
I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. Yeah, guys, um, <laughs> I already told y'all yesterday about that accident. Boy, I tell you, my, my heart. And I really need to stop doing that. You know, I trust God in everything. I have to. And I have to tell myself that sometimes. And it's okay because sometimes our flesh takes so much control. Because that's what we feed the most is our flesh. And when I heard that car crash, y'all. I felt like my heart was going to stop. But my body, I had no control over my body. I immediately jumped up I looked out the window because I could see that when I looked out the window I was certain that okay yes it was close like I thought it was it was right here and so I jumped up and before you know it I was down the stairs no shoes on outside running going toward that car crash to see if who it was <laughs> I wanted to make sure it wasn't my child I don't care how old they are they're still mine I was just, I'm so fearful. I was so fearful at that moment. And once I looked at the cars and I realized it was not him. And even then it was my heart because it was almost the same color as his, right? And, or either that or my mind just made it the same color. And I was like, oh God, is this not my son? <laughs> and it was uh, another lady out there and a guy and they were doing the same thing. Because they were waiting on somebody, a family member to come or something, I think. And they were like, oh. You know, and, and I'm saying, and even then, I corrected myself right there. I said, even though, God, I'm not hoping bad for nobody. I'm hoping and praying that everybody that was involved are okay. And it seemed like that they were. People, they were walking around and stuff. So, I'm grateful for that, right? I didn't want anybody to have an accident. By no means. No means. But yeah, <laughs> I really have to stop doing that and trust God. When you give God all your trust, you truly are at peace. You truly are content no matter what happens. No matter what happens, you can stand still and stand tall and stand strong knowing that God's got it. It's going to be all right. God, give me the strength to see me through. Right? help me to help someone else you'll be okay you may cry you may hurt you may this you may that but it's all right you gotta give it to God you gotta trust him and that's where I have to be a hundred percent a hundred percent I cannot have my heart all the time you know when something happens or if I think something is going on or you know, I cannot just assume all the time negative. I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute, let me, <laughs> when I supposed to do something. Yeah, I still do not take those women's vitamins. And I think it's because they are vitamins. I would rather just swallow something. You know, like these are easy. And they're not real big. I could just swallow this and be done with it. But to sit and chew on the gummy. I didn't think about that when I got it. I just thought that it might be more manageable. It may not be nasty tasting. But even if it was nasty, it might have been better to just swallow it real quick. I have one, two, three of the vitamin D3 left. So I'm going to have to get some more of these soon. Yeah, I'm almost through with my coffee. Jeez. <sighs> I put some videos up yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I really did. I, I loaded the one with uh, the kids. <laughs> um, one of them, I didn't even realize they, they were still, that they had the thing recording until the end. I just hadn't paid, I just didn't pay attention to it. Um, and they just so silly. Full of life. It's full of love. You know. 
<sighs> this is one of the best for these kids. All my grandkids. I really do. They all are so smart. <laughs> so full of life. The oldest ones are getting ready for their little dances and, you know, graduating and going on to the next level. One is going to high school. Like, it's amazing. I feel like this gap is getting bigger and bigger, wider and wider. Oh, I wish I could feel that in. Yeah, I'm just so happy for them, you know, so proud. So proud. It's time just flew by. Time flew by. They went for the little big head babies to big head preteens. <laughs> I mean, dang. Time flies. Time freaking flies. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. It's going to be chilly. It's going to be in the 50s today. But uh, it's okay. We're going to enjoy the day, right? Enjoy the weather nonetheless. Put on a nice sweater, a nice jacket, and keep moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Um, but, yeah, you guys have an amazing day. Let me go ahead. I'm talking to y'all. <clears throat> Let me just at least... That's what I needed the phone for to sign in. Let me at least do that part. So that I'm not late. But yeah, I want you guys to have an amazing day today. I really do. I want you to pray. Not just for yourself, family, friends, and loved ones. But for all our brothers and all our sisters in Christ, right? <clears throat> if it's something bothering you, pray about it. Give it to Jesus. If you're uncertain about something, which direction to go, what decision to make, pray about it. Get on your hands and your knees. Pray about it. Get on your face if you have to. Pray about it. Find yourself a quiet spot in a closet, in a room. Shut the door. Where it's just you and Jesus. And pray. Give it to him. Lord, direct my path. Clear my mind. You know? I need you. I need the oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. I don't know words, but what matters most is I need thee. I need them. <laughs> Can't do nothing without them. Don't let nobody ever tell you different. If they do, they lie. And the truth ain't in it. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't let nobody tell you you need anything other than God. Because God is. He is everything. Right? He has the world in the palm of his hand. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have an amazing Tuesday morning. Bye.